Hello, I'm Mr. Craven from the NEC English Director team, and I'm going to be quickly talking through this quotation from An Inspector Calls. The quotation comes from Gerald in Act 2, and he's describing his first encounter with Daisy Ransom. Unlike the previous quotation that we've analysed, in this one, the contrast with the other women in the bar is implicit. Rather than a hard-eyed, doe-faced woman, Daisy is described through the triplet as young, pretty, warm-hearted. The order is worth noting. As with the other male characters and Sheila, Eva is defined, at least initially, through her outward appearance, through her attractiveness. Gerald, remember, is wealthy, slightly older. Young emphasises Daisy's vulnerability, her innocence, the potential for men such as Joe Megatee, Gerald and Eric to exploit and take advantage of her. Daisy is pretty, something that plays a key role in her experiences at the hands of Sheena, Joe Megatee, Gerald and Eric. Worse, Eva is warm-hearted, someone who hasn't lost her generous spirit and her interpersonal openness. Again, this contrasts her with the hard-eyed women around her, but it also offers a sense of where her life is going. Just as Eric will become Gerald and Gerald will become Burling, Sheena will become Mrs. Burling, and Eva will become another of these hard-eyed, doe-faced women, thanks to her treatment within this exploitative patriarchal system. Perhaps the most disturbing description is that final addition, the outcome of the earlier adjectives, intensely grateful. It links logically to her being warm-hearted, emotionally open, available, but it also seems to imply physical warmth and the basis for her sexual relationship with Gerald. This isn't love. It's a transactional relationship in all but name. Gerald offers somewhere to live, money, attention. In return, Daisy shows her gratitude, and despite being euphemistic, this verge is uncomfortable. Gerald's description of Daisy, of Eva, here, resonates with Berlin's description of her in Act 1, of Sheila's issues with her later in Act 1, of Eric's attraction to her in Act 3. And it's noticeable that just as with the others, Eva is judged here for her physical attractiveness, her openness to exploitation, and her accessibility, not for the content of her character.